Hi, and welcome to Grade 5 Math Expressions. Unit 3 of Math Expressions guides students as they study addition and subtraction in greater depth. The main goal of this unit are to help students extend their understanding in place of place value to include large numbers and decimals, to help students add and subtract decimals and whole numbers, to develop estimating and rounding skills as students engage in graphing activities, and to have students apply place value concepts in a variety of real world situations. To accomplish some of these goals in this unit, they are introduced to different methods of adding numbers and subtracting numbers, looking at new groups and ungroupings. This example you're seeing now is new groups below, new groups above, and the subtotal, subtotal method. To add and subtract accurately, students need to align the digits of whole numbers and decimals correctly. Students may also use whatever method they prefer as long as they understand why it works and can explain it. Furthermore, some key vocabulary in the unit revolve around the commutative property, associative property, and also the distributive property. Also, scales are used as a visual aid to help students in rounding numbers. In this example, they show how they are used to help determine the amount of people rounded to the nearest 10 and other various place values using the scale. Lastly, the things they're required to be able to do in this unit is to be able to compare decimals and large numbers, add and subtract larger numbers, and also use graphs as well to solve word problems. Unit 7, Multiplication and Division with Whole Numbers and Decimals. The main goal of this unit is to enhance skills in multiplying and dividing with whole numbers and decimal numbers. Some additional goals are to use estimation to check the reasonableness of answers, to understand how to convert fractions to decimal, to interpret remainders, and to analyze graph real-world data. Students will use techniques such as rectangle sections, expand notation and shift patterns to gain speed and accuracy in multi-digit and decimal multiplication and division. Money examples will be used in multiplication and division with decimals. Students will learn to estimate using rounding and compatible numbers and then adjust the estimate number. Remainders will be interpreted in real world context and expressed as fractions or decimals. Students will divide by decimal numbers and learn to distinguish between multiplication and division when there are decimal numbers. Throughout the unit seven, students learn or students will solve real world application problems that require multi-digit multiplication and division. Unit 9, Multiplication and Division with Fractions. In this unit, students will learn to multiply a whole number by a unit fraction, multiply a whole number by a non-unit fraction, and multiply two fractions. Furthermore, they'll use the relationship between multiplication and division to discover how to divide a whole number by a unit fraction, divide a unit fraction by a whole number, and divide a fraction by a fraction. Throughout the unit, students will also pra practice the fractional operations they have learned previously, comparing, adding, and subtracting. This will help them maintain what they've learned. It also will also help them see how the various fractional operations are like and how they are different. It is important for the students to realize that comparing, adding, and subtracting fractions require that the denominators be the same. For multiplying and dividing, this is not true. 